So your eyes are not deceiving you. Yeah, we're uh, together. We are actually in the same place at the same Physically. time. Physically. Physically. Yes, this is not a hologram. Um, <laughs> Uh, we're actually here in beautiful Chevy Chase, Maryland. The, there is, yes, if you're not from the D.C. area, there is a town called Chevy Chase. No, it's not named after the actor. Because um, somebody asked me that once, like, well, it's in Chevy Chase. And then somebody who was not from here was like, well, where's Bill Murray, Maryland? Like, oh. That is so funny. And um, <laughs> so I'm here with my wonderful co-host, Andy. What you doing up in town, Andy? We are actually both doing the same thing. We're attending um, some Databricks training that's uh, pretty cool being put on here at Microsoft. And we're also, as coincidence would have it, celebrating. What are we celebrating, Frank? We are celebrating the World Cup coming to... No, wait. Ah. Um, I don't even know where it is, but <laughs> we're celebrating 50,000 downloads. In 50K. 50K. And it's all you. You did this. You rock. You do rock. So thanks for helping make the show a success. We, uh, we kind of were talking about, like, you know, you know... We're, what, 11 and a half months into yeah. the show? Yeah, a couple weeks till the one-year anniversary. Right, it was the, the first show out. And we actually recorded the first show in it was like February. February, yeah. Something. It was cold out. And um, <laughs> Although this year in D.C. that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> um, but, um, so yeah, so we we, uh, yeah, we we put the site online. It was out about this time of year. And yeah. uh, I found we finally, uh, once the DNS uh, thing switched over, yeah. we... Um, went live and it was just around Memorial Day weekend of 2017 and uh, you know we had kind of like well you, you you didn't have very high expectations we had grand visions I was thinking about maybe a thousand people if a thousand people watched the show that would be so cool that would be cool but you know you and I have both been listening to some interesting audiobooks lately we were listening to one by Gary Vee called Crushing It and a great book by the way we recommend it and in, he said um, I don't know if it was that one or the end of Crush It, one of the two, because I've listened to both in right. the last week. He said your first, your number one, your first view, right. your first subscriber, you should like throw a big party. And I hadn't listened to that book at that time, but a thousand was like crazy. I know. You know and, and five figures, wow, man. I had fun when we got to 9,000. I was like, where did that It's over 9,000. <laughs> That's a Dragon Ball Z thing, I think. And it, well, it yeah. happened. It happened really quick, I right. mean, comparatively speaking. And, uh, you know, when we got to the first hundred, I was floored that a hundred people had downloaded uh, the stuff and listened to us. Another interesting stat that we were just talking about over lunch is that the shows that we first noticed the big book, so we had some great names on, on there. And Frank and I did, I don't know if I want to confess this or not, but Frank and I did a show where it was just us. And we did it because we wanted to put some content out. And we thought, no, nobody's going to. It was the middle of the summer. It was hard to get anyone. No one's going to listen. And we'd already gotten, like, some big names we had at that Donald point. Farmer, Farmer, and Jen Underwood, and, and Lynn Rima, Langett, Rima Namer, Rima Namer, which was probably uh, one of our biggest stars to date. Like, if you watch yeah, the Build keynote, either last year or this year, she's on. It's, if it's in Cosmos DB, she either wrote it or managed the people that wrote it. Right. And we, we were like, well, we, let's just do a show. We'll just do us because we couldn't find a guest. And we did it, and we were both shocked at how many downloads I got, and as fast as it got them. I think it may have been the, the most as fast, you know, like the first two, uh, 100 downloads. Right. But then time. So it was just crazy. And so we've done some more since then, and I'm still, they're, they're all doing good. I mean, all of the shows are doing really good. They are. Like, we, 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 we estimate um, that we have about three to 400 regular listeners. Yeah. Yep. Every show gets to at least three to four hundred in the first twenty-four hours. Yeah, uh, which you know we are data-driven, literally. Yep. Uh, we we look at the stats all the time. Uh, we love you in the UK. We joke about how you spell things, but we love you. <laughs> Hearts go out to you. They do talk funny over there. That's one thing. About them. <laughs> well, they did invent the language. That's so true. Okay, we'll give them. That. We talk funny. Maybe we talk. Funny. We talk funny. You talk funny, definitely. Oh, I definitely talk funny. We talk. I don't talk funny. I speak normally. <laughs> Frank talks funny. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We have fun with the accents and with the uh, we we had some great conversations about culture. We actually had like two or three ideas for shows right. today, just hanging out. So we're gonna hang out. Oh, no, totally for sure, man. We were uh, we were watching. It was actually an accessibility issue. Yes. And I was just like, I'm not gonna name the company, but they're a competitor who does retail. Yeah. That narrows it down. Yeah, well, you can say that. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. But we were in it. We were in Whole Foods. Oops. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, but they had this thing, and like this lady had to reach up really high, and was just yeah. like, 
you know, in terms of like you know ADA, I don't know if that would qualify as kind of accessibility, but right. but in terms of customer experience, and that's what these people, you know, uh, they plant their flag on. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's pretty interesting. Yeah. You what know, if you're, what if you're shorter than average? Well, in fairness, though, that that top couple of levels, I'm six feet even. Yeah. I had to go a little bit on my tippy toes. Not wow. for her. Hers was the little roll below it. But right. if I had it there, I mean, it would, that was crazy. you know. Crazy I, and again, I, it wouldn't be the end of my world, but it would just kind of be like, uh, yeah. you know. Uh, but I wonder, is there an option? Is there maybe a checkbox and check out to, like, say, you know, I'm short or something? I don't know. Yeah, that would be another invasive bit of personal data. We could, we could do that. And we also discussed Andy's first rule of statistics, which is you can apply statistics to anything about people except people. There you go. There, there yeah, you go. That's, a, that's like two shows right there. Totally. Uh, plus, uh, again, we're demonstrating kind of the appeal, or, or maybe it has to be an appeal because we've got 50,000 downloads, right? <laughs> well, we, we talk about 50,000 downloads, and then it's like, oh, by the way, <laughs> sidetrack. <laughs> I think that's it. I think so, that's it. But thank you again, to everybody who's watching us, of course, and everybody who's downloaded the show and all over here. Thank you all so much. It means the world to both Frank and I. Yeah, for real. I, I just want to thank you. Um, you know, when we were joking about this just today, like we didn't know how it would go. You know, we had these, these dreams of it of it hitting numbers. I thought in my wildest dreams maybe we'd get to fifty thousand in the first maybe eighteen months, um, maybe. And that was kind of like being aggressive. Um, so I kind of had like the two numbers in my mind. One was kind of like you know, um, you know, the Beyonce concert type numbers. You know, like really good numbers or like Euro Disney numbers. So, you know, in the first week it was pretty, or the first two weeks it was pretty clear, probably not going to turn into Euro Disney, yeah. uh, which was a nice uh, relief, um, because I did take the podcast training with John Lee Dumas, which I think you can go to, uh, uh, his website's EO Fire, and it's like something like podcast, uh, you get basically a free kind of like, like seven hour course on podcasting, and I think you sign up for a bigger thing that's like, you know, yeah. more. But, you know, we definitely, I think, avoided a lot of mistakes. Um, we did. Yeah. You took that course. I took Frank, that course, Frank yeah. took that course, and it definitely paid for itself, I'd say. Um, so, thanks. Yeah, and the cool thing is that we were able to, instead of make newbie mistakes, which we did, but, I mean, we could focus on experimenting with new things. Like, yeah. when I did the Data Science Dailies, we yep. did that for a while, yep. uh, which did have pretty decent traffic. But the yeah. real thing, and this is kind of meta, because we're on a data point, is the data point uh, format where we just basically uh, grab a phone and just kind of, you know, film kind of what's going on. Whether yeah. that's you're speaking at a conference, you bump into somebody important, and you're like, hey, you know, and yeah. you get a few minutes of their time. Uh, or it's just kind of like you, you see something that's data related, and you're like, you know, wow, you know, um, like, you know, whether it's reminiscing about what Toys R Us used to be, or you bumping into Buck Woody in Ireland. Yeah, yeah, that was a great one, or in Grant Fritchie. And then you talked into Brian Moran a couple of times. I think he's our only first he's three feet. Three, uh, our first three feet. That was great. And the stuff you did last week at the Azure Data Professor in Philly. Oh, that was cool. outstanding shows cool. there. So, datadriven.tv, if you're watching us on Facebook, um, that's the that's big site. And what we'll do is we'll have this one up there. You'll have the audio only version. Uh, Frank will clean up all the wind noise. Sorry about the wind. Oh, this is nothing new. When you were in Heathrow, that was that was the epic challenge. So there's one where he actually recorded a data point in Heathrow Airport. And you were like, you, you, you messaged me like, yeah, I recorded it. I had something on my mind, but I don't know if it's usable. So I'm like, I took that as a challenge. So um, I, I'm i an Adobe fanboy. I, I'll admit it. Um, yeah. I use Adobe, Adobe Edition. Yeah. Really awesome. It, it, you know, it's, it's like the Photoshop for sound. That's, oh, yeah. That's the way you did a fantastic job. That cleaned up so well. And I want to say that was like in June. So it's one of the early Yeah, it was one of the points. first data points. It might have been one of our first international ones. That's true. So That's true. Yeah, so we, so we, we, went, uh, we had lunch. We're learning Databricks. We're also kind of brainstorming about what year two of Data Driven would look like. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, Same we got so. some exciting ideas and let's, uh, you know, let's execute them. Uh, you mentioned the Gary, the inner truck book, which is, I recommend it to everyone. Everyone I talk to now, I'm like, to listen to it really and if you don't have an audible subscription you go to the data driven book the data driven book.com and it'll take you right over there you get free 30 days you get a, a free download of right as you 30 day subscription um do that uh, audible is awesome especially if you've got time driving in the car i uh i take out my phone and i plug in headphones right down here 
and listen when I'm flying or driving or something like that. That's, I have fancy headphones. See, he, they, see, so these yeah. are uh, bone he conduction. He didn't have to pl plug them in at all. No. Well, no, Bluetooth, but that's... Bluetooth well, is so 2008. When I grow up, <laughs> I want to be as cool as Frank. But these are cool. Uh, I originally got these because I was uh, hoping that um, I'd be able to ride my bike more. Okay. And have listened to music or podcasts. But what this is is bone conduction. So it actually doesn't go on your ear. It goes yeah. next to your ear. <coughs> Sorry, allergies are killing me. Uh, <clears throat> that might get edited out. Um <laughs> So um, it actually sends the sound waves straight into your che uh, cheekbone. That's that so you can hear what's going on around you, as well as the music or, or, or audio. All right. See, so now I'm going to have to go get me. Some it's of pretty them. epic. I like them. Like okay. I, I always have them on to this point where my, my the, the the spot here gets like a little bit. No. Yeah. So I have to not use them for a couple of days. So, uh, um, but hey, you know, always always inputting data into that neural network. There we go. Very cool. So once again, thank you very much, and uh, hopefully. Won't be too long before we'll be saying a hundred thousand downloads. Wow! Wow! That'd be awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much, and you have a great day. <laughs>